excited to bring this video to you, which will be doing a full face makeup with just a flash palette. Yeah, this bad boy, which is uh, amazingly created by Makeup Forever and has been a staple of mine in my kit for 10 years now, it will help you achieve and understand color theory. If you are struggling with trying to figure out how to read undertones, how to pick the perfect foundation for your client or for yourself, how to correct under eyes, discoloration, bruising, um, tattoos, find the right lip shade for a client, find the right eyeshadow for a client, work with uh, costuming and how to create the perfect look for costuming and hair. I mean, color theory is really the fundamental purpose of being a makeup artist. If you don't know it, you can't understand your color theory. Honey, you need to sit down and teach yourself. And that's what I'm here to do. I wanna show you guys how to make color work together and how these pure colors, when they're blended together at the right recipe, will make foundation. How do you think we have foundations? How do you think we have concealers? They're all made from pure colors and I'm gonna show you guys today. First, you need a color wheel. Make sure you have a handy reference of a color wheel. The second most important thing you're going to need is lighting. If you don't have great lighting, you're not gonna be able to understand color. I have my makeup lights, two of them directed at my face. I'm also working with what will hopefully render beautifully for you when you see it on YouTube is uh, the 4K HD camera. So we're gonna shoot and try to get as much luscious color directly to you so you can read it properly and understand how to work with it. When I first learned this technique, it blew my mind open and it really made me understand makeup and color theory and makeup so much better. So that's what I'm hoping this will do for you. We're going to make it completely from scratch. We are not cheating. We are only using primary colors. In this case, we are using subtractive color theory. And what subtractive color theory is, is going to be cyan, magenta, and yellow. I'm fair. These have the addition of white to them. So I'm gonna use those tones. If you are deeper, you're gonna use straight up red and blue with yellow. Now, of course, I'm also going to, going to be using a good amount of white because I am fair and I need that addition of white to lighten those colors for me. If I mix just those three just in the right amounts, I'm going to get my foundation. It will work and it will work for you. If you don't have a flash palette right now to work with, I would suggest maybe some paints. Go pick up some paints at home, mix them up on paper. I'm not telling you to mix it up and put it on your face. Play with it. If you have any types of eyeshadows, mix the shadows together on the back of your hand. Just get your hands dirty, get in there, and start making it. So, again, the most important things you're going to need is excellent lighting. If you don't have that and you're not already working with excellent lighting as a makeup artist, I feel bad for you, son. You need it, okay? This is what is going to change your makeup game, especially because everything we do now is for HDTV. HD cameras, HD film, everything is shot in HD. It's showing 10 times more magnification of the skin. Therefore, more of your faults are going to show, okay? So we don't want that. We want you to pick the right colors, the right concealers, the right shadows, get that best texture that you can get on the skin. We want you to be amazing. I want you to be amazing. So let's get to it, guys. I hope you enjoy this. First, we have to find our recipe, okay? So I know with me, me being the fair maiden that I am, I'm going to take white primarily. Okay. Next color, and I'm gonna go from uh, the most to the least, is gonna be yellow. So I'm gonna take about half as much yellow. You can see that. Next is magenta. I'm gonna take about a quarter as much magenta. And then lastly, just a scotch of cyan. 
not too much. Okay, you can see that. Just a little bit of 246 fluid. Take a little of that just with my finger and mix. And so I'm pretty orange pink there. Let's take a little more cyan and knock it down. Much better. It's still a little peachy. Little more cyan. So now I know going into my recipe, I can I can be a little more generous with my cyan. Okay? I'm liking where that's going. I'm going to lighten it. It's a little dark for me. So a little bit more white. Beautiful. I like that. I like this color right in here. All right. So now we have our recipe. Let's put it on. So we're going to go, we're going to work in sections. Okay. So reason why I chose the colors that I did. I am, so you can see I have nothing on right now. Of course, I have a little lash liner and some brow and some lip gloss so I wouldn't scare you too much. But overall, um, I, I definitely have nothing on my skin. When I look at my skin, okay, so looking overall and deciding on what colors I'm going to do, I know that I'm really fair. So I'm going to choose a lot of white. I know that I have um, discoloration as far as speckles of red and pink throughout my skin. So I, I definitely have uh, a little bit of a redder undertone. You can see that in my chest as well. Um, but I want to neutralize that, right? So I want to kind of knock that back a little. And that's why I'm going to go in with a little more yellow rather than going straight in with red or with magenta. So a lot of white half amount of yellow okay so that's going to give us what we mix those two together and that gives us a really beautiful pale yellow um, but now we have to neutralize that because I'm not just pale yellow right I have other dimensions in there so I go on with the magenta as the third color to neutralize all of those but when I'm mixing pale yellow with magenta then I'm getting orange that makes sense why you saw orange on there so orange counteracts is counteracted with blue right blue cancels orange so that's why we choose cyan i choose cyan for myself because cyan is a subtractive color theory and now we could totally go into that whole depth just look it up and you'll understand what i'm talking about i know that seems kind of crazy but that's what's so great about the flash palette is that it has those um, additive colors in there, red, yellow, blue, and it has subtractive color theory in there, which is cyan, magenta, and yellow. So yellow never changes, yellow always stays consistent, but the cyan and the blue, cyan has more white, magenta and red, magenta has more white. I have more white in my skin, so I choose those fair colors. If you are of a deeper skin tone, you're definitely going to choose red and blue to mix with instead of cyan and magenta, okay? Just so you know, now you're caught up. Now you know why I'm choosing all three of those colors to mix with the addition of a good amount of white. That's how I get my recipe, okay? So let's apply that recipe to our face. I'm going to prime my skin with Scandinavia. So I have a little something on my skin that uh, is creating a little bit of moisture balance to the skin and is going to allow everything to kind of swirl in there nice and beautifully. So I hope that makes sense. Um, here I'm going to basically divide the face up in three sections so that way we can keep track of our recipe, okay? So down in between the nose and between the eyes, one section, one section, one section, okay? As I dab my colors on here, I'm going to choose um, that amount of color in each section for each recipe, right? So a lot of white. Okay. I just divide those up. And so do a little dot on your end. Then. Okay. And then for my section, the majority of color is going to be white. The next out of the three primary colors is definitely going to be yellow. 
So we're going to take some yellow and not do quite as much, but do about half as much. Okay. Looks pretty good. Then my next color is definitely magenta because I do have pink in my skin. But uh, I, I want more yellow than that because I want to cancel that out more. So my yellow and my cyan are going to help cancel that pink out for me. But we need the magenta in there for it to make sense, okay? So we take just a dot of that. And we're going to do about half as much of that to yellow. Okay, and then our last color is cyan. And that we use the least of, but we also found we needed more than we thought to get the actual color correction to happen. So, tiny amount. I'm making sure that my cyan isn't like lumps of it, but rather like a smooth little scraping. And it's okay, we might not nail it the first time, but what is great if we don't nail it the first time is that we start to train our eye to see what we're seeing. So if we don't nail this when we blend it, then we're going to go, okay, what do we see and what do we need to add? So sometimes the mistake is really good. It's really great in this environment to learn, kind of mess up a little and you know, go, hmm, what do I need to do to color correct that? So definitely make sure you have your color wheel on hand so that we can look at that and reference it if we need to. Next step is we are ready. We're ready to mix. We have our solution. You can do some lotion if you only have lotion. But I really love this. This works really beautifully with it. If you have some sort of... Um, skin oil that could probably help just a really tiny amount just to lubricate the brush and allow it to blend onto the skin so are we ready to see what the hell is gonna happen i'm really nervous so let's go for it